Chapter 10 Heritage and Culture of India Introduction Do you know what culture and heritage are? Culture incorporates the symbol, language, norms, values and art facts that characterize any society. Culture shapes the thoughts, behaviors and attitudes of the members of society. What we inherit from our previous generation is known as heritage. Heritage is the full range of our inherited traditions, monuments, objects and culture. India is a rich tradition of art and culture, including languages, dresses, dance, music, architecture, painting and festivals. Our culture plays an important role in shaping our lives. Our culture plays a significant role in shaping our life. India has a rich tradition of art and culture, languages, dresses, dance, music, architecture, paintings and festivals. Our languages India is a vast country. People living in different parts of India speak different languages. The constitution of India has recognized 22 languages. These are Assamese, Bangla, Bodo, Dogri, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Konkani, Maithili, Malayalam, Manipuri, Marathi, Nepali, Odia, Punjabi, Sanskrit, Santhali, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu and Urdu. Tamil and Sanskrit are the oldest language. Hindi is the official language of India. It is written in Devanagari script. All these languages except Kashmiri, Sindhi and Urdu are written from left to right. Each language has its own script. Besides these languages, many dialects are spoken in various parts of the country. Our dresses, the clothes people wear, also differ from region to region and season to season. But the most popular dresses of women are sari and salwar kameez. The style of wearing sari varies from state to state. The Maharashtrian, Gujarati and Tamil styles of tying the sari are entirely different from one another. Women in cities also wear trousers, shirt and skirts. Women in Gujarat, Rajasthan, Haryana and Madhya Pradesh wear ghagra choli. They cover their heads with bright wheels called ornies. As Miss women wear Mekla Chadar, a two-piece sari. The Mekla is wrapped like a lungi and the Chadar is wrapped separately to cover the upper part of the body. Men in cities wear trousers and shirt. In some states, kurta pajamas, shirt, lungi and kurta dhoti are popular. A lungi is called Veshti in Tamil Nadu and Mundu in Kerala. The people of Kashmir wear a long woolen kurta called Piran. The tribal people of Nagaland wear shawls. Each tribe has its own special design. Even the style of wearing the turban traverses various states through state. Turban is an essential part of the dress of sex. Let me answer. How many languages do you know? What language do you speak at home? Our dances and music. Indians are fond of dance and music. India has a very long tradition of dance and music. There are mainly two dance forms in India, folk and classical. Indian folk and tribal dances are simple group dances that are performed to express joy on every possible occasion to celebrate the arrival of season, sowing and harvesting of crops, the birth of a child and family, a wedding or on festivals on many occasions. The dancers sing themselves accompanied by artists on instruments. Each dance form has a unique costume and special jewelry. Some popular folk dances are Bhangra of Punjab, Ghumar of Rajasthan, Raj Garba of Gujarat, Lavani of Maharashtra and Bihu of Assam. The tribal dances of the Nagas, Mizos, Santals, Bells and Gons are very colorful. Indian classical dances Begin as a form of worship in ancient times, dancers used to perform in temples. Later, kings encouraged dances to be performed in the courts. Bharatnatyam of Tamil Nadu, Kuchipuri of Andhra Pradesh, Kathak of Uttar Pradesh, Odissi of Odisha, Manipur of Manipur, Satira of Assam, Mohiniyattam and Kathakali of Kerala and Yakshagnam of Karnataka are the major classical dances in India. These are based on beat and rhythm. Let me answer which are the national festival of India, mention their name. Like classical dance, classical music too has a long and rich tradition. 
There are two types of classical music, Hindustani music in the north and Carnatic music in the south. Both types are based on rags. They continue to survive through oral tradition being passed on by teachers to disciples. This has led to the existence of family tradition called gharanas and sampradayas. There have been many great singers in our country since the ancient times. Tansin sang at the court of Emperor Akbar. Today, Pandit Just Raj is a great vocalist. Ustad Zakir Hussain, Tabla, Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia, Flute, and Ustad Amzad Ali Khan, Saroor are some other famous musicians. Different musical instruments are used in classical music. Veena, Sitar, Saroor, Shehnai, Flute, Harmonium, Tabla, and Mari Danganam are some popular musical instruments. Fact Finder The Taj Mahal in Agra stands out with its dome and minarets. It is a popular tourist destination and is one of the seven wonders of the world. Architecture We have a rich tradition of architecture since ancient times. The remains of 5,000 years old in this valley civilization. The stupas built at Sanchi in Sarnath and the temples of Mamalapuram are wonderful examples of our architectural traditions. Tourists from all over the world come to see them. The Kailash Temple at Elora has been carved from a single block of stone. The Sun Temple at Konark, Minakshi Temple at Madurai, Kanturao Temples in Madhya Pradesh, and the Jain Temples of Maintabu and Ranakpuri are famous for their architect. The Tanks and Mughals brought a new style of architecture with them. The Taj Mahal in Agra stands out with its dome and minarets. It is a famous tourist place and is one of the seven wonders of the world. Do you know, rags are the various styles of Indian music in which songs are sung. There are a number of rags in Hindustani and Carnatic music. Humayu Tomb, Jama Masjid and Red Fort in Delhi are also examples of their grand architecture. The Forge at Agra, Gwalior, Jaisalmer, Chaturgarh and Golconda are equally majestic. The Europeans brought their own style of architecture. The Rashtrapati Bhavan and the Parliament House in New Delhi and the Victoria Memorial in Kolkata are beautifully building made by the British. The churches of Goa are fine examples of Portuguese architecture. Some other beautiful monuments also include the Akshardham Temple and the lotus-shaped Baha'i Temple in Delhi and the Vidhana Saudha in Bengaluru. Research and Analysis do you know how many languages are written on the Indian currency note? Ask your parents to find out the languages written in the Indian currency. You can take the image and paste it on your scrapbook. Paintings Human beings have always been fond of drawing paintings. Early humans painted on the walls of the caves they lived in. These paintings depict animals being hunted. Ajanta caves in Maharashtra show scenes from the life of Lord Buddha. They have show how people dressed at that time and what type of hairstyles and jewelry were popular. The miniature painting in India was introduced by the Mughal emperors. Rajput king also encouraged these artists. The painting depicts scenes from the battles of Rajput kings and life in their courts. They also tell stories from the life of Lord Krishna. If you get a chance, visit an art gallery and see the paintings of modern artists. Health and Wellness Do you know that dance is also a form of exercise? Many people perform various dances to keep themselves healthy. Learn any dance from, from your dance teacher and practice it. Our festival India is called the land of festivals. Many festivals are celebrated in India. These festivals are of three main types. The national festivals include Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti. We celebrate many religious festivals such as Diwali, Dashera, Durga Puja, Ganesh Chaturthi, Christmas, Eid ul Fitr, Eid ul Zuha, Guru Parv, Buddha Purnima and Mahavir Jayanti. Basant Panchmi and Holi are the festivals that are celebrated in the particular season of spring. Besakhi in Punjab, Bihu in Assam, Pongal in Tamil, Nadu and Onam in Kerala and our Harvest Festival. 
celebrating festivals with our near and dear ones is fun. On these special days, we decorate our houses, wear new clothes and eat sweets. The special decorations called rangolis are made at the entrance and on the walls of houses. We share our joy with others. Indian culture and heritage is a mixture of our own traditions and the Mughal and the British influence. The various forms of dance, music and art show our culture. Indian Heritage Connect Saying Namaste is the famous greeting style of Indian culture. Whenever we meet someone, we usually say Namaste. Do you say Namaste while greeting someone? Summary The constitution of India has recognized 22 languages. Sari and Salwar Kameez for women and Kurta Dhoti and Kurta Pajama for men are the common Indian dresses. India has many folk and classical dances. Hindustani and Carnatic are the two main styles of classical music in India. India has a rich tradition of architecture. India has a rich tradition of painting. Many national religious and harvest festivals are celebrated in India. Art Integration Different children have different talents. Engage children in a discussion about what they are talented at and how they can discover their hidden talents. Organize a talent hunt in the class and children to participate in activities like singing, dancing, acting, etc. Exercises Creative Expression Tell your story. Do you know about any folk songs or folk dances? Which type of songs or dances do you or your family members perform during the festivals or on any traditional occasions? Share your experience. Cross Curricular Connect Critical Thinking Let's play a game. We must be aware of the different dressing cultures in our country. You can organize a frenzy dress event in your class. Ask students to wear clothes from different states and cultures. Logical decision making. Choose the correct dress shown in the picture below. If you are taking part in the Garba dance, what type of clothes would you will like to wear? Let's practice. A. Write short answer for the following questions. 1. What do the women of Assam wear? 2. What kind of painting became popular in the Mughal period? 3. Where is the Sun Temple located? B. Write long answers for the following questions. 1. How does the writing style of Hindu and Urdu differ? 2. What are folk dances? When are they performed? 3. Name some famous religious festivals of India. C. Fill in the blanks. 1. The constitution of India has recognized dash languages. 2. Each language in India has its own dash. 3. In Tamil Nadu, a lungi is called dash. 4. Our dash dances begin as a form of worship. 5. The Kailash temple at dash has been carved from a single block at stone. 6. The slopes are cut into dash to grow rice and maize. D. Multiple choice questions. 1. The stupas of Sachi and Sarnath were built by dash. 1. Akbar to Ashoka. 3. Chandra Gupta Maurya for Jahangir 2. Ustad Zakir Hussain is a famous exponent of Dash 1. Flute 2. Saroor 3. Tabla 4. Sitar 3. Which of the following is not religious festival? 1. Holi 2. Diwali 3. Eid ul Zuha 4. Onam 4. Assamese women mostly wear Dash 1. Sari 2. Salwar Kameez 3. Mekla Chadar for Ghagra Choli. 5. Ajanta Caves show sceneries from the life of Dash. 1. Lord Krishna to Lord Rama. 3. Lord Shiva for Lord Buddha. E. Match the following. Column A. 1. Firan. 2. Kuchipuri. 3. Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia. 4. Pongal. 5. Pandit Chasraj. Column B. A. Flute. B. Harvest Festival. C. Vocalist. D. Kashmir E. Andhra Pradesh F. Tick the correct options 1. The Gupta rulers introduced miniature painting in India 2. The sari is worn in one style throughout India 3. Lavani is a popular folk dance of Karnataka 4. Besakhi is a popular harvest festival of Assam 5. 
Tansin sang at the court of Emperor Akbar. Conceptual understanding. Complete the crossword puzzle with the help of given clues. 1. Popular folk dance of Rajasthan. 2. Older name of the capital of Tamil Nadu. 3. Long woolen kurta worn in Kashmir. 4. One of the oldest language in India. 5. A dance form of Uttar Pradesh. Writing skills. How many festivals do you and your friends celebrate? How do you celebrate these festivals? Write 10 points about any one festival that you celebrate.